Hi guys, so let's just take a look at a very, very useful evaluative concept when it comes to critiquing marginal revenue product theory or an NESA on labour market differentials and why different workers may earn different amounts. And that is efficiency wage theory. Really, this simply states uh, that it may benefit firms to pay workers a wage higher than their marginal revenue product. Now, why might firms choose to do this? Well, there's three much cited reasons. The first one is about efficiency in hiring. Uh, now, if you think about it, actually ensuring that you are attracting the very best staff to your particular firm, how are you going to go about doing that? You may well choose to actually offer a high wage rate um, and a wage rate beyond the given uh, average marginal revenue product. And the reason there would be because you want to ensure you attract the best staff. Those best staff are likely to know who they are. They're likely to know how productive they are, how hard they work and so on. And as a consequence of that, their reservation wage, i.e. the lowest wage that they're prepared to actually work at, may be higher than the average person. So thus you would pay above the average marginal revenue product. Okay, um, right, further to this, we've got productivity on uh, the job. Uh, and the productivity is, is really about ensuring that your workers have an incentive to continue working hard within your firm. So if they know that the opportunity cost of them working um, for firm A is that they forego working at firm B and firm B pays far less in terms of the wages, they've got an incentive to actually work harder at firm A and make sure that they do not lose their job. So it's therefore argued that this can help to boost productivity and could be uh, posed as a possible solution to the principal agent problem uh, and profit satisfying perhaps. Okay, further to this, um, we've also got this notion of minimising staff turnover. So if you want to ensure that staff have an incentive not to leave your firm or a particular industry when it comes to a monopsony employer, then you may want to ensure that you actually pay them uh, above the actual marginal revenue product. Uh, and of course, this, this may help to actually reduce your longer term costs and boost productivity because you don't have to go through all the search costs and the sunk costs of hiring um, new workers and finding those new workers and recruiting and selecting them and so on. Uh, OK, so minimising turnover can be a good thing in some industries. OK, so where they're uh, seeking to do this, they may choose to offer a higher uh, wage than the marginal revenue product. Okay, that's it guys. Hope that's useful. Thank you.